Savitri, page 422. Behold this image cast by light and love, a stanza of the order of the gods, perfectly rhymed, a pillared ripple of gold. Her body like a brimmed pitcher of delight, shaped in a splendor of gold-colored bones, as if to seize earth's truth of hidden bliss. Dream-made illumined mirrors are her eyes, draped subtly in a slumberous fringe of jet, retaining heaven's reflections in their depths, even as her body such as see within. Heaven's lustrous mornings gloriously recur, like drops of fire upon a silver page. In her young spirit, yet untouched with tears, all beautiful things eternal seem and new to virgin wonder in her crystal soul. The unchanging blue reveals its spacious thought. Marvelous, the moon floats on through wandering skies. Earth's flowers spring up and laugh at time and death. The charmed mutations of the enchanter life raised like bright children past the smiling hours. If but this joy of life could last, nor pain throw its bronze note into her rhythmed days. Behold her, singer with the prescient gaze, and let thy blessing chant that this fair child shall pour the nectar of a sorrowless life around her from her lucid heart of love. Heal with her bliss the tired breast of earth and cast like a happy snare felicity. Yes, grows the great and the golden bounteous tree, flowering by Alexander's murmuring waves, where with enamored speed the waters run lisping and babbling to the splendor of morn, and cling with lyric laughter round the knees of heaven's daughters dripping magic rain, pearl bright from moon gold limbs and cloudy hair. So are her dance like jeweled leaves of light, so cast see her felicity on men.